Welcome back. There are so many people who love the Oakmont Bakery. It's really one of the best bakeries in our area, and there's a big change about to happen. Yes, I count myself among the people yeah. who love the Oakmont <laughs> Bakery. Too. That change happens today. The Oakmont Bakery, we all know and love, is closing later today. Oh. But don't panic. <laughs> It's reopening tomorrow in a brand new expanded space, and it is really supposed to be fabulous. So, guess who has the best assignment ever? Well, you answered that question already. <laughs> Selena Pompieni joins us live from the bakery with a sneak peek of what to expect. Hi, Selena. Hey. Hey, Heather and David, good morning. I always have the best assignments on Pittsburgh Today Live. This one has to be one of my favorites. So we are live at Oakmont Bakery, their current location along Allegheny Avenue. But we mentioned earlier, it's their final day at this location. They open their brand new doors tomorrow, and it's an unbelievable facility. I do want to bring over the owners with me now. We have Mark and Tony Sorello. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. The final day here after all of these memories you've created over the years. Can you believe you are finally moving into your new facility? Yes, it's, it's a very exciting day and a long time coming, but we're absolutely ready for it. And how cool is it to have this family business? You opened the doors back in 1988 to have your entire family working together, your son with you. I mean, it has to be a special bond and a special time. It really is. My wife and I opened the bakery in 88. Um, Tony was born in November of 87. The bakery opened in May. So he's been here his whole life. He's actually start, he started working when he was about three. But um, it's a, my favorite thing about the bakery now is working with my family. And how excited are you for tomorrow to finally be opening the brand new doors to the new facility? And we're right down the road. It's on one sweet street. How fitting. Yeah, we're so excited. I mean, all of our staff is um, ready to go. We're been moving since yesterday. Um, and yeah, it's going to be great for everyone. Um, yeah, we're very excited. So let's talk about it. I know it's massive, right? It's almost three times the size of this current location. It is. It's huge. I mean, Tony and I have been talking about it and making drawings for about two years now um, of where we were going to put everything and work with our architects and our contractor. Um, but it is seeing it all come together. It's exactly what I envisioned. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. Yeah, and I know you could fit so many more people inside. The parking is going to be unbelievable. And you have all of the outside seating, you said. Yeah, so we have right now we have 93 seats inside um, and we have outdoor about 80. About 80 yeah. um, so the facility is definitely going to be really nice for, for our customers, but also our staff, all of our, um, our kitchens and our break rooms and stuff are so much nicer, state-of-the-art equipment, um, lots of room. The last few years, we've been elbow to elbow in production. So Tony does a really great job with production, keeping everything moving, but it hasn't been easy for the employees to get, get things produced. And, um, but we, you know, we always pull it off. It's just going to be a lot more fun to do it now. So I want to know, because us, you know, AM newsers, we start our day really early. You guys have to start earlier. What time do you, do the bakers get inside and get everything going for the morning rush? Yeah, so we have a night crew that comes in about 9.30 p.m. They work until about 5 a.m. Uh, we have crews that come in at 4 a.m., 7 a.m., and then the 9 a.m. crews keep things baking all day long. So our claim to fame is we our cases are always stocked. Um, so that's why we have a crew during the day. So... It's, our production runs 24 hours. Um, when we first moved into this building, it was really cool to see the product being trans, uh, transported back and forth from each building. But now with the new building, it's going to make it way easier for everyone, the efficiency alone. Perfect. Yeah, the last few weeks, well, last few months actually, when we're doing things here, like we're on headsets calling the bakers when we run out of product or the cake decorators, and then they have to put things in carts and wheel them across here. And we're very, all, for, so for the last few months, especially the last few weeks, all, every time I need something, I think next week I'm going to be calling behind me, you know, talking to the bakers and decorators. So us, all of us being together in one building is definitely going to be really nice for communication and, and getting things produced. It'll be great. Now, I know you have so many wonderful sweet treats to offer, but we have to go to our very special cookies they made. You guys got to check this out. Look at this. We have Pittsburgh Today Live cookies. I need to take a bite, Mark and Tony. They look so good. Look at those. I know Heather and David and Ron are dying to try one. We have cookies. We have little cakes over here. So delicious. So thank you guys so much. Yeah, I need to take a bite. I may wait until the end so I could talk, but <laughs> thank you so much to Mark and Tony. 
Again, guys, come down and check it out. This is their final day. They will be open all day until tonight, and then they will open their doors tomorrow morning. And again, we mentioned it's right down the street from this location. It's on one sweet avenue. It's going to be fabulous. Make sure to check it out tomorrow morning. They open their doors at 9 o'clock. So I'm going to enjoy my PTL cookie. Oh, Heather and David, I will make sure to bring some back to you, too. They are all, that looks so cute. They're always yeah. so creative there, and that's so nice of them to make that for us. Yeah, as we do our relaunch, and they do their relaunch. Right. We should yeah. have made them a cake. We should have. Although I don't know how that would have turned better. out. Yeah. <laughs>